Hello, um, this video is a presentation of uh, CS3520 assignment number four. Uh, we've been working in a group of three with Carl, Viet, and myself. Um, so uh, we are making a product pieces that leads to a card that PSP and basically is a um, is a partially functioning uh, shopping cart. Um, so let let me demonstrate by opening the browser and actually going to the web directory. So this is my personal directory and uploaded everything to the server. Uh, every file is under project one right here, and um, so the product are from 1 to 25, 25 unique and different products out there. Uh, we could view it by just clicking into it and you can see that every product I click into are a different products. And um, so let's let's go ahead and actually check the, the add to cart button and how it dynamically creates a, a, a shopping cart uh, for the user and uh, I'm using uh, I'm using a uh, session and PSP uh, for the purpose of this assignment so yeah let let me go ahead and uh, open this Canon EOS um, and add it to my car so you could see um, this is the part uh, that's functioning right now and I've I've not actually worked on this part of checkout and everything um this this might be something to handle on a uh, later assignment or or when the final project is due so for now i just added the canon eos um and uh you could see uh the quantity of it and the price for it and also uh the add and remove button out here not functional at this moment and it's also something that we'll be working on for the assignments um so just let me go back um, and add uh, a different product and uh, let's say 14 yeah it's a Dell laptop so uh, here's the thing now when I went back I actually left the card page and I went back to choose a different product now so when I add to my card, uh, it's the session should actually preserve what I ha already had in the card and then add this item to the card also. So let's check that and add to card. So you could see the camera is still there and I just added a laptop in there. Uh, so one final thing, let me actually go back and again add uh, the camera back say I want to add one more camera the same item and then I want to check out so when I do that what it should do is like actually instead of creating a new product list on the card it should just increase the quantity of the camera and increase the price also so when I do add to card so what it does is it just changes it to two and then also you could see the price uh, that's it for the assignment and we'll be working on the shopping cart to make it fully functional by the submission of project thank you